Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at um, using Sokotoa to find the missing angle. Um, yeah, best way is to get started, yeah? Okay. So, nothing's changed. Everything's, we're still using Sokotoa. But when you're given uh, two sides and you're looking for an angle, the only difference is you are no longer using sine, cos, and tan, but you're using inverse sine, cos, and tan. All right? So the way we write this is like, I mean, you still use sine, the sine rule, but the inverse one looks like this, the inverse cos looks like this, inverse tan looks like this. And all of this could be found above, above the buttons, above sine, cos, and tan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like this, sine, cos, tan. So you can see it just above it. All right. Now to access those buttons, you got to press shift which is here. You press shift sign, shift cos, shift tan to actually get that. Okay, that's the first thing you need to know. Okay, let's do a few questions and see how things come along. All right, so here's our first question. Uh, what we're going to have is we got, we, got, we got a missing angle. All right, in fact, I'm going to put down all my three, three things there so you can see the three different types of questions there. So there's my missing angle. Uh, I'm going to have five and four this one i'm going to have five and three and this one i'm going to have four and two okay so as usual guys we still do the same thing first step is label the sides all right so here five is going to be the hypotenuse and the side opposite the angle is going to be o so what we have is o and h which means it's going to be so we're going to be using the sine rule so because we're using the sine rule we can write this as sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse in this case we're going to get sine x is equal to 4 over 5. now to figure out what the angle is we bring sine to the other side which means we have inverse sine of 4 over 5. so when we actually solve this we get 53.13 degrees all right looking at that middle example five is going to be the hypotenuse there's nothing on the opposite side so three is going to be adjacent and we're using cos rule for this because of a and h so we have cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse now theta is the angle so cos x is equal to three over five x is equal to inverse cos of 3 over 5 which means x is equal to oh that's interesting 53.13 degrees as well oh yeah of course we're working with a nice Pythagoras theorem triangle so that's why okay don't worry just it's fine yeah, it's going fine the next question we have no hypotenuse, we have a side that's opposite, and we have number four, which is going to be adjacent. So we're using tan, so we're going to get tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Theta is x in this case, opposite is two, adjacent is four. So then x can be written as inverse tan of two over four, which means it's going to equal 26.57 degrees okay uh, that's just the summary of it guys i'm going to show you a couple more examples or no actually you know what Will you guys actually try the next example and see how it goes i'll do one i'll do one okay so here we go let's call this x we're going to put seven and three we're going to put this as x we'll put this as eight and four all right so what do we have we have got seven is going to be the hypotenuse three is going to be the adjacent so we're going to be using cos rule so we have cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse cos of x is equal to three over seven x is equal to inverse cos of three over seven and so x is equal to 
64.62. Now you guys would notice that I don't actually work with decimals at all, even with the, the, the 3 over 7, because when you do decimals, what happens is if you get recurring num numbers, and if you find the co inverse cos of a recurring number, you might not actually get the accurate answer. So that's why I like to keep things in fractions as much as I can. So if you look at the second example here, uh, I've got the side that's opposite, which is 8, side that's adjacent, which is 4. So what I have is tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, uh, tan x equals 8 over 4. In this case, however, I can nicely do it because x is equal to inverse tan of 2 because 8 divided by 4 is 2. So inverse tan of 2 is going to give me 63.4 degrees. Okay, so the next two example guys, I'm going to put it up for you. I would like you to try it by yourselves. Pause the video, try it, see if you get it right. And then follow, um, well, you can see if you get it right by following my video as well. So here we go. Where's my two triangles? There's my two triangles. All right, so I'm going to put this as X. I'm going to put 5 here and X here. Well, I can't put X there. It has to be a number. Sorry about that. So that's 3. And then I've got X here. And then we're going to put this as 5 and 4. Okay, so what I'd like you guys to do is pause the video here. See if you can work out the answers. And then come back and check it. Okay, obviously you've done the answers, hopefully. So here's how you do this one. In the left-hand side triangle, I have 5, which is going to be the hypotenuse. And then 3 is going to be opposite. So I've got O and H. I'm using sine. So I've got sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. Uh, sine of X equals 3 over 5. So X is equal to inverse sine of 3 over 5, which means X is equal to 36.86 degrees. Sorry, it should be 87, rounding up. And as for the second question here, I've got a side that's opposite and I've got a side that's adjacent. So I'm going to be using tan. So I've got tan of the angle equals opposite over adjacent. And then I can say tan of x equals 4 over 5. x is equal to inverse tan of 4 over 5, which means x is going to equal 38.66 degrees. Cool. Hopefully you got those two questions right, folks. Uh, that's it for this video. So if you have two sides in a right angle triangle and you're trying to work out what the angle is, uh, then this is what you do. Okay. So as usual, guys, if you have any questions, uh, pop it in the comments below and I'll try my best to get back to you with some answers. Okay. Apart from that, thank you for watching.